I'd like to point out that if before you do a live stream, you have to make community posts threatening another YouTuber or send followers out to threaten other YouTubers that they're going to be hurting after your next live stream just to get views for your live stream, you're probably a cyber bully. There should be no reason that a YouTuber should fear another YouTuber making a video. You going live should not affect my life, but it does because you're lying about me and you're a cyber bully with thousands of cyber bullying followers who now want to hurt me because you have lied about me to them. YouTube doesn't want to acknowledge that this platform has cyber bullies. The very fact that I am meant to be afraid of these other channels proves what they are. If other channels need to fear you, you're a bully, period. Nobody should have to fear you for you to make it in this world. If you can't make content that is entertaining without threatening other human beings and giving dangerous people information about other human beings that they can threaten as an outlet for their anger, maybe you're not a creator, you're just a bully. YouTube doesn't seem able to make that distinction, but there is a very clear distinction. And it comes with the fact that you have to threaten people before you go live to drum up your audience who enjoys threatening people. If you have to threaten other people, if your content hurts other people, you are a bully and you should not have a platform on YouTube, especially not a monetized platform. No creator on YouTube should be forced to fear another creator. That is absurd. It is asinine. It is dangerous. And at some point, YouTube has to take their fingers out of their ears and begin to listen to the victims who have been speaking out about these channels for years.